Okay, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments, and this is a follow up video to the video on creating multiple Excel appointments from Excel VBA. Okay, so what are we going to do in this video? We're going to add a Teams meeting to the appointment, right? So, what we've created previously were just regular, you know, Outlook appointment items, but now we want to include a Teams meeting. Okay, the video on creating Excel appointments, you know, multiple Excel appointments on my channel, I think has generated the most questions. And I really love that because the questions bring about opportunities, you know, to share more content and, you know, to answer some of these questions. Okay, and this was one of the questions, you know, that was asked and I promised to put up a video. Let me show you the regular code we have here. Um, I would advise that you watch the video on creating multiple um, Outlook appointments from Excel first. I will link it just below. So you can go through that because there I explain step by step, you know, how this code works. I actually even wrote it, I think, step by step in that video. Okay. But this is supposed to just loop through, you know, from the second row to the last non-blank row and create Outlook appointments. You know, it has the names of, you know, who it's to send it to, the email addresses, when the meeting would happen, the duration, and, you know, so on. So, I'm just going to run it so that you see um, what it does. We are not sending now. We are just displaying. So, we just want you to see. Okay? So, you can see that uh, these are the meeting invites, okay, for the four individuals, right, with the details in there. But as you can see, this is a regular meeting. It's not a Teams meeting. Okay, so what if you wanted to make it a Teams meeting? What would you have to do? Um, really, it's just to click Teams meeting. It's going to add, you know, the Teams details in there and you can then send. Okay, so but how do you do this from Excel VBA? Okay, the only way I found to do it for now is to use send keys. Okay, application.sendkeys, which is like you simulating keystrokes. Okay, so if I wanted to click this Teams meeting here, how would I get to it? I will first press the Alt button. I can see that meeting here needs the H keystroke. I'll do H and I'll do TM. Okay. And if you look below now, you will see that it's added a Teams meeting in here. Okay. So Alt H T M, you know, is one way to do it. Of course, if you have it on the um, quick access toolbar, you could also use, you know, some other shortcut like you can see here, Alt 4, Alt 5. Okay, but because in different people's outlooks, it may be in different places, that may not be, you know, a standard shortcut. So it's probably preferred, you know, to use um, Alt HTM, which would work everywhere. So that's what we are just going to do in addition to what we have. So I'm going to close this um, and then I'll go back to VBA. Okay, so now. This is the code as we have it. One thing you must understand is that before you can press these shortcuts and these keystrokes, it means that the appointment item or that meeting invite must be, you know, the active window, right? If you press Alt HTM from here, it doesn't make any sense. So why am I saying this? So that you can follow the code logically. That until it is displayed, you know, it doesn't make any sense to do Alt HTM. You can only do Alt HTM, which is adding a Teams meeting after it has been displayed. So whatever you are writing for send keys must occur after dot display. So I will just call this maybe this. I uh, will say add. Let me just say add Teams meeting here. Add me Teams meeting to invite. Okay. So we are going to do application dot send keys, but you can also just do send keys, right? Now, the first thing you need to ask is, okay, what do I need to press? I need to press, you know, Alt H. That takes me to the meeting tab. For send keys, Alt is the percentage sign. So when you press percentage here and you press H, this is pressing Alt H. Okay. Now, the wait argument is just to say, oh, okay, do I wait after pressing this or am I pressing this all at once? You know, so after pressing Alt H, yes, you may want to wait. So I will say true. Then I'll then press the next shortcut, which is TM together, right? So I will do send keys again, and then this time I'll just do TM. So this is like saying percentage H, that's Alt H, then TM, all right? And I'll say true, okay? So that's really it. So those two lines should help you add your team's um, meeting invite. So let's click play button and see now this time, okay? Okay. All right. 
as you can see so all of them now have you know the teams uh, meeting invites okay so that's simply how you do it um, I will just say one more thing, which I observed maybe when I tested with maybe much more than, say, four. Sometimes, maybe because, um, you know, it takes like a second or so for it to actually include the team's uh, invite in the body. So when you just run the code and it seems like it runs too fast, sometimes you may notice that some of them may miss, you know, the team's meeting. So what I just do in such a case is just to put application.wait, you know, just to make sure it waits like a second okay after each of um, um the invites so that that gives it enough time to at least put it in the body before it moves to the next one it's a little delay but well it's definitely better than if you have to send 1000 invites manually okay so what i'll say is wait and don't run or don't do anything until now is the current time i'll add one second to that so i'll just say time value this is hour no hour no minute change one second okay so what this means is that it's going to do the oh, HTM. Yeah, I guess I'm missing something there. Oh, okay. Sorry. Forgot my opening bracket. What happens when you're not wearing your glasses? Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So what this would do is it would add the meeting invites, uh, the team's meeting invites, and then it would just wait a second just to ensure that it works. Although right now it feels like it's working. Okay. But now, so you could just have that handy. The other thing to note is that um, I've been using dot display because I just wanted to show what the appointments would look like when they come up. But you know, eventually you want to send them. Okay, so really, you don't need to do display before you send. You have to do dot, just dot send will work for you. But that's when you are setting up regular Outlook meetings. But in this case, you know, for us to send this, we need to first of all display it. So that we can add the Teams meeting in there. Because if we don't display it, we can't add the Teams meeting. So it means that we need to do the display. We need to do, um, you know, the, um, what's it called? The send keys. And then we then need to do the send. Okay. So that could look like, you know, it's a little challenging. But let me just show you something so that I could just close the entire loop on this part. All right. So you notice it's delaying a little now. But let's see. Okay, good. All right. So what you notice is that if you want to send this meeting invite, you know, you need to click this send. But how can I click this send from, you know, Excel VBA? Um, this, if you press your alt, doesn't seem like it has, uh, <laughs> you know, any hotkeys or shortcuts you can press. But control enter sends the meeting. Okay. So control enter. So if I do control enter on this now, you notice you notice that it's been sent. Okay, so what it means is that for me to simulate that, I just need to add Control Enter to my code. That's all I'm going to do. So it's like saying after doing the H and T M, and I'm sure that you know it's in there. I could leave my you know delay of one second. Then I'll use another send keys again, and this time I would then press Control Enter. So how do I press Control Enter with send keys? Your control is uh, the caret, okay? So that's this, which we use as the exponential sign. So caret, and then you can do enter. So enter, typically you put it in curly brackets and say control enter, okay? So, but you could also use the uh, tilde for that. So the tilde is also the enter. So it means you could also do as in caret and tilde. So I mean, you could also do this. You do caret and tilde. So this is control enter. So this way you add the Teams meeting and then you also, you know, send it. And that's pretty much it. That's how you add, you know, a Teams meeting um, to a regular, you know, Outlook invite. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope um, I've answered, you know, one of the burning questions around, um, you know, um, Excel and Outlook integration via VBA. There are a few more questions I'm going to answer in subsequent videos. So I would advise you subscribe to the channel, like this video too, so you don't miss, um, you know, the upcoming videos. Um, for now, I would say that I'm out.